Hello everyone! So we are now again in another topic in mathematics. So our topic for this vlog is about the similarities and differences between pyramid and prism. I am going to discuss about this topic in order for you to answer the following learning task and learning activities in your answer and activity sheet. So let's start! So let's begin first with uh, similarities of prism and pyramids. So ano nga ba ang pagkakapareho nila? So prisms and pyramids are three-dimensional solid shapes that contain sides and faces that are polygons. So when we say polygons, ang mga sides nito ay straight. Okay po, or straight lines or straight sides. So, ibig sabihin kapag ang faces or sides ay naka-curve or naka-circular in shape, hindi po siya considered as prism or pyramid. So, may ibang tawag po doon. Okay po. So, two-dimensional shapes with straight sides. Sinabi ko na nga po kanina. Both shapes fall under the large category, polyhedrons, because the sides and bases are polygons. And then, neither prisms nor pyramids have rounded shapes. Sinabi ko na po, or rounded sides, or rounded edges, or rounded angles, distinguishing from cylinders and spheres. So, katulad po ng sinabi ko kanina. So, dumako naman tayo sa um, pagkakaiba ng prism sa pyramid. So, ayan. So, start tayo sa number and shape of the bases. So, ano ang pagkakaiba nila sa bilang at hugis ng bases or base? Start tayo sa prism. A prism contains two bases which are also polygonal. As you can see, sabi dito, Ang prism ay meron ng two bases. So, let's have an example. Eto. Ang tawag dito ay cube or square prism. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo, eto, eto ang kanyang base. Square base. Ang another base niya ay nasa baba. Eto, square din po siya. Dalawa po ang base niya or bases niya. And then, yung bases na yan ay magkapareho po ng shape. Pareho silang square and ang square ay halimbawa bawa ng polygon. Yan ay quadrilateral. Okay po. etong mga sides na to, considered yan, ay ang, ang tawag po dyan, I mean, ay faces. Okay po. Faces. So, ano naman ang pyramid? Ilan naman ang um, number of base ng pyramid? Okay po. So, a pyramid has only one base which is polygonal in shape. So, kung ang prism ay may dalawang bases, ang pyramid po ay isa lang. So, let's have an example. So, eto ang tawag dito ay square pyramid. Kung makikita nyo, ang kanyang base o ang baba niya ay square. Consider that is considered as square po yan. Ayan, isa lang po ang base. Okay po. So, ang pyramid po, ang pangalan ng pyramid ay depende po sa base niya. Dahil ang base nito ay square, kaya ang tawag sa pyramid na to ay square pyramid. Okay po. Again, ang number ng bases ng prism ay dalawa. Ito, ang pyramid ay isa. Okay po. Okay, next. Ayan. So, dito naman tayo sa the shape of the sides. Ano naman yung shape ng mga sides? Ayan. So, start tayo sa prism. Ang prism daw, the sides of a prism are always square or rectangular in shape and are perpendicular to the base. So, ibig sabihin, yung prism daw po, eto yung halimbawa. Ang sides daw po ng prism ay naka-square or naka-rectangular in shape. Kung makikita nyo, etong side na to ay square. Ayan. Tapos, yung opposite side niya ay square din. And then, eto ay naka-rectangular in shape. Kaya, rectangular angular din ang kanyang opposite. Kung makikita nyo, ang sides ng prism, it's either square or rectangle. So, how about pyramid? Ayan. So, ang pyramid naman daw po, the sides of a pyramid are triangular in shape, joined at a point known as the apex. Ayan. Kung ang um, 
prism ay perpendicular to the base, ang pyramid naman po ay shape joined at a point known as the apex. So, let's have an example. Ayan na, ang sides ng pyramid ay triangular in shape. Ang prism ay square or rectangle. Ang pyramid po ay naka-triangular in shape. Ayan, as you can see, naka-triangular po ang kanyang sides. Ayan po, ayan, triangle. And then, nagmimit po sila sa isang point. Ito po yung tinatawag na apex. Ayan po, kaya siya tinawag na pyramid. Ayan. Ayan, next. So, we are now in the presence of an apex. So, ayun ba sa dalawa ang meron ng apex? Although, nasabi ko na nga kanina. So, ang prism, prism does not have an apex. Okay po. So, walang apex ang prism. Kasi nga, pag sinabing apex, nagmimit po ang kanyang sides in one point or single um, point. Kung baga, ganun po. Ayan. So, let's have an example here. So, kung makikita nyo, halimbawa itong face na to and then this face, nagmimit lang po sila in one edge. Unlike po doon sa pyramid na magmimit po sila, lahat ng kanyang sides ay nagmimit sa isang point. Okay po. Kaya nga po tinawag itong perpendicular to each, to each other, yung kanyang sides po. Ayan. So, Let's read about pyramid. So, a pyramid is characterized by the presence of an apex. So, yun po ang pagkakaiba nila. Ang prism ay walang apex, ang pyramid ay meron. So, tingnan natin ito. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, etong sides, sides, four sides, nagmimit po sila sa isang point. Yan pong tinatawag na apex or the tuktok. Okay po. Etong Uh, shape na nasa baba, yan po ay base. Okay pa. Ang tawag po dyan ay base. Ito namang nasa gilid or sides, yan po yung mga faces niya. Okay po. Sana malinaw po yan sa atin. Ayan. So, let's move on to the types of prism and pyramid. Ayan. So, in prisms, the type is determined by the shape of its base. So, some types are triangular prism, pentagonal prism, hexagonal prism, and etc. And then, for pyramid, there are different types of pyramids depending on the shape of its base. ba diba sinabi ko nga kanina, ang pyramid ay madedetermine nyo ang pangalan or masasabi nyo ang pangalan depende sa kanyang base. Ayan. So, depending on the shape of its base, such as the triangular pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, pentagonal pyramid depende po sa kanyang uh, depende po sa shape ng kanyang base. Ayan. So next Okay, to sum up the differences of prism and pyramid, so let's have this. So, kapag sinabi natin prism, a prism is a three-dimensional polyhedron characterized by two bases. Sinabi ko kanina, may dalawa siyang bases, which are polygonal in shape and rectangular size perpendicular to the base. So, siya ay polygon. So, ibig sabihin, ang kanyang sides or ang kanyang base ay dapat polygon. So, pag sinabi natin polygon, hindi po dapat siya naka-circular um, shape or naka-curve in shape. Okay po. So, pag sinabi naman natin pyramid, ang pyramid is a three-dimensional polyhedron shape or um, shape is structure with only one polygonal base and has triangular sides. So, meron siya ng isa lamang na base at ang kanyang sides, naka-triangular ang shape. So, ibig sabihin, yung prism and pyramid are both three-dimensional in shape. Okay po? So, ibig sabihin, um, pareho silang 3D, but not all 3D is a prism. Okay po? Or sabihin natin, kapag ang tanong is, Prism is a three-dimensional shape. Yes, correct. Pyramid is a three-dimensional shape. Yes, correct. Pero pag sinabing, a three-dimensional shape is a prism, hindi po lahat. Or a three-dimensional shape is a pyramid, hindi lahat ng um, three-dimensional shape ay pyramid. Hindi lahat ng three-dimensional shape ay prism. May mga Uh, three-dimensional shape or figure na hindi prism at hindi pyramid. Yan po yung pag-uusapan natin sa next. 
So here are the examples of a prism and a pyramid. Ayan. So as you can see, itong nauna, ito ay cube or square prism. Wala po yung apex. So dalawa po ang kanyang bases. And then ito ang tinatawag na square pyramid. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo, square po kasi ang kanyang base at meron siya ng apex, kaya siya square pyramid. Next. Rectangular prism and rectangular pyramid. So, rectangular prism, as you can see, meron siya ng bases na rectangular in shape. Kaya siya, rectangular prism. And then, etong rectangular pyramid, tinawag siyang rectangular pyramid dahil ang kanyang base ay naka-rectangular in shape. And then, meron siya ng apex. Kaya siya, rectangular pyramid. Next is triangular prism and triangular pyramid. As you can see, yung triangular prism, ang kanyang base, eto ay naka-triangular in shape. And then, eto din po yung isa. Kaya siya tinawag na triangular prism. And then, eto naman, tinawag na triangular pyramid kasi kung makikita nyo, ang kanyang base ay naka-triangular in shape. And then, meron siya ng apex. Kaya siya triangular pyramid. Next is pentagonal prism and pentagonal pyramid. As you can see, pentagonal prism siya kasi ang kanyang bases ay naka pentagon in shape. So when we say pentagon, limang sides po yun. Kaya siya tinawag na pentagon. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Four, five. Kaya siya pentagon. And then yung another base is naka-pentagon din ang shape. Kaya siya pentagonal prism. Ayan. And then eto, pentagonal pyramid kasi ang kanyang base ay naka-pentagon. And then meron siya ng apex. Kaya pentagonal pyramid. So, last example is hexagonal prism and then hexagonal pyramid. So, ito, hexagonal prism kasi bilangin natin ang kanyang base or bases. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, meron siya ng 6 sides, kaya hexagon ang kanyang shape. Kaya siya tinawag na hexagonal prism. Bakit prism? Kasi dalawa ang kanyang bases. And then, eto, hexagonal pyramid dahil ang kanyang base ay hexagon in shape. And then, meron ng apex, kaya siya hexagonal pyramid. So, the following are examples of three-dimensional shape or 3D na hindi po siya prism at hindi rin po siya Pyramid. Okay po, kaya nga sinabi ko kanina di ba na um, prism and pyramid is a three-dimensional shape. True po yun. Tama po yun. Pero kapag sinabi na pyramid, I mean three-dimensional shape is a pyramid, mali po yun. Kasi hindi po lahat ng 3D ay pyramid. Katulad po nito, sphere. Sphere is a 3D pero hindi po siya pyramid or hindi po siya prism. Cylinder. Cylinder is an example of a 3D, pero hindi siya um, prism. Cone is an example of 3D, pero hindi po siya um, pyramid. Okay po, kaya kapag ang tanong ay um, 3D is a pyramid, false po yun. Pero kapag balik ta, halimbawa, pyramid is a 3D, yes, correct po. Kasi ang lahat ng pyramid or prism ay three-dimensional in shape. Okay pa? So, ayan. Finally, we are done. So, sana ay natutunan nyo ang ating lesson for today. So, see you on my next vlog.